Victor Alpha 3 Alpha Whiskey Papa, Golf India 3, Delta Zulu Echo 7300. Hey there, this is VA3AWP again on the uh, southern shores of uh, Georgian Bay. And uh, with you, oh, the goddamn lighting is working correctly here. And can you see the screen correctly? Yeah, I guess it comes in a little bit after it adjusts itself with this crappy little camera. I got here is just a Canon uh, little job, but uh, picked up a wave node uh, sensor. It's a uh, SWR power meter that does a whole bunch of other functions there too. Uh, I thought I'd uh, show you guys the way how it works. And right now, how we got the AL1500 set up, we got it in uh, a bypass mode. So basically, we're going to go over the uh, radio here and we're going to adjust the power settings. So we're at about 100 watts. That's 100 watts and. Uh, We'll see what the old uh, wave note tells us here. So we got coax one direct or coax one direct on the uh, antenna tuner, and uh, nothing on the amplifier. We'll see what the CW does when I keyed up on CW. There you got. Um, they're showing me here uh, nice 5.7 watts. A nice night, yeah, 95.7. SWR 1.03. That's well, pretty damn good actually. Well, I'm in the center of frequency of uh, 20 meters. And on the other one set up for the AL1500, so the scale is actually larger. It's at about the scale of a 2000. And the TS2000 scale is at 150. Uh, so this is the wave node uh, application. Bottom bars are actually um, just a uh, sensors. They're, you know, same thing as above, but uh, horizontally, you know, it shows you that. And uh, yeah, same thing, they have a vertical bar as well. And uh, this thing seems to work very, very well. Um, no issues uh, so far with this. It's an amazing application. The software that comes with it is um, quite uh, efficient for anything that you're wanting to do in amateur radio. Uh, but the thing that I found most reliable about this thing is that you'll be amazed at what your peak envelope power actually truly is um, as compared to an analog meter. Uh, you'll be sitting there scratching your head going, wow, am I actually putting out a kilowatt with just that much drive uh, power? And uh, with just a little bit of a whisper, uh, you'll see peaks uh, on your, uh, on your uh, meter and your scale on the uh, WaveNode software that'll blow your mind. And uh, it'll probably uh, throttle back the input power drive on the uh, of your amplifier once you get this software. Really, really, uh, really, really efficient uh, type software as well. This is VA3 Alpha Whiskey Papa on the southern shores of Georgian Bay. Okay, turning on over to the uh, actual hardware unit itself. Hardware unit's actually quite, I don't know if the uh, camera is actually picking this up. Oh man. It's, uh, let's sit there for a second. Hopefully it uh, kicks it in there. But the hardware unit itself actually shows um, your SWR and your power as well. And you can cycle through uh, which uh, sensor you have. I have two sensors right now. Uh, one that is in between the uh, radio and the amplifier. Uh, so that's my, uh, my TS2000 output power. And then one that is between the amplifier and the antenna tuner. And that tells me my output power and my SWR in between uh, the, uh, the amplifier and the antenna tuner. And uh, so it basically does the same thing. I don't know if you can see this on here, but it changes. It, it changes on there as well. It gives you SWR and it also gives you your power uh, reading as well, depending on which sensor you're actually uh, set on. If you hit the view, uh, you can cycle through the menus. On here, I also have um, my DC voltage uh, set as well. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it doesn't look like you can see it. No, oh, well, well. See if I can get this here. DC voltage is set up on there as well. 14.81 right now we're at. I got a bit of a condition with my power supply. I think it's starting to go a little bit tits up on me because the voltage is uh, going up on there. Now I have to readjust it on the uh, potentiometer on front of the uh, power supply. So I have to have a look at that. So yeah, we got uh, the 100 watts uh, coming out of the radio. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go uh, adjust the uh, wattage output on the uh, TS2000 back to about, I don't know, about 20 watts of drive. And we'll uh, make sure it's in CW mode, operating mode. So now we're back on the wave node, and we've got 20 watts of drive coming from the uh, TS2000 into the amplifier. And 
we're going to see what the uh, what the SWR and when you kick on the uh, amplifier. 20 watts of drive uh, into the amplifier. And that's about it. There, see what we see what the the, the old uh, wave node shows us here. So there you go. We got um, yeah, I got 494, 400 and 500 watts, and uh, 22.6 of watts going into it. So not exactly tuned exactly for 20 watts input. It's obviously tuned for peak uh, maximum power right now. So we take the drive power of that back up to where it's supposed to be, which is 50 watts of drive. There you goes, uh, about 1500. So legal limit, there you go. And it shows you your input from the 61.0 going into the amplifier. So that's about it. Um, 20 meters, the AL1500 is actually, well, it's not bad. It's it's pretty efficient, but it's not uh, the most efficient. AL1500 seems to be the most efficient on 40 meters, 80 meters. Um, it's actually more efficient on uh, 10, 10 meters and 15 and 17 than it is on 20. So 20, it seems to be the least efficient for some odd reason with this amplifier. I don't know why, that's just the way they're, they're built. Uh, they require a little bit more drive. Uh, on the 20 meter band than they do on any of the other bands um, and uh, I guess that's just the way it is um, but yeah it, with 50 watts of drive on 20 meters I get exactly uh, in CW mode uh, 1500 watts so what I usually do is I back it down with the input drive on 2000 uh, or on the TS2000 I back the input drive down to about uh, 35 watts and that gives me a peak envelope powered SSB of about uh, 1500 so yeah it's it's a, it's it's fairly good but uh, yeah, so that's that's what the uh, the good old wave node, and uh, I highly recommend this application. It's really really cool, and there's a lot of other things that it does. And uh, when I come back here, I'll uh, do a little bit more stuff uh, regarding the other functions of the wave node. This is Victor Alpha Three Alpha Whiskey Papa from the sunny southern shores of Georgian Bay in Wasega Beach. Peaks and uh, very nice audio. What, uh, what are you using there, Andrew? Go ahead. 